Welcome back to our channel. In the journey of self-improvement, it's essential to focus on every aspect, including your hair. Today, we're diving deep into the secrets of maintaining thick and healthy hair. As we age, hair loss becomes more common in men, so let's give your hair the attention it deserves. But before we dive in, it's crucial to distinguish between what's normal and what's not when it comes to your hair. There are certain things you shouldn't worry about. Your hair shedding 100 to 200 hairs daily is perfectly normal, so don't stress over this. However, if you're noticing an excessive amount of hair loss, we've got some strategies to address this issue. When your hair is wet, it can appear thinner due to clumping. But if you notice excessive scalp showing, we'll discuss remedies for that too. Don't be alarmed, we've got you covered. One of the common misconceptions is the confusion between a receding hairline and a widow's peak. A widow's peak is simply a different type of hairline where your hair forms a peak in the center, while a receding hairline is a more noticeable loss of hair around the temples. It's crucial to know the difference so you can address the issue correctly. If you're doing everything right, your hair should be healthy and thick. But if you notice thinning or balding, you might be making some mistakes. Let's break it down into two parts, what's happening inside your body and what you're doing to your hair. Your body's internal factors play a significant role in your hair's health. It's essential to ensure you're getting the necessary nutrients such as iron, zinc, vitamins B12 and B7, and more. A balanced diet with foods like spinach, avocados, and berries can significantly contribute to the health and thickness of your hair. Stress can trigger hair loss by overproducing cortisol. To maintain your hair's health, it's important to manage stress through exercise and relaxation techniques. Reducing stress is not only good for your hair but also for your overall well-being. Now, let's talk about the external factors that can impact your hair. First and foremost, stop over-shampooing your hair. Your hair doesn't need to be shampooed every day. In fact, doing so can strip it of its natural oils. We recommend shampooing once a week for most hair types, using sulfate-free shampoos to prevent protein loss and scalp irritation. Alternatively, if you're accustomed to daily hair washing, consider co-washing, which is washing with conditioner instead of shampoo. This is a milder approach that will help maintain your hair's natural oils and prevent over-drying. If you work out regularly, use dry shampoo before and after your workouts. Plus, try the high bun trick to keep your hair fresh while preventing excess sweat from sticking. These strategies will help maintain your hair's cleanliness and volume. When using heat styling tools, always be gentle and use a heat protectant. Excessive heat can cause damage to your hair. Don't forget to protect your hair from excessive sun exposure with products that contain UV filters like olive oil or peppermint oil. Sun damage can also affect your hair's health. In conclusion, by following these steps consistently, you'll likely see the results you desire. Patience is key when it comes to successful hair care. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more valuable self-improvement tips. I'll catch you in my next video.